Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another update for the whole collection project pan that I'm doing in collaboration with my friend Sarah. Me and her are doing a ton of similar projects and collabing back and forth and it's been so much fun. So if you haven't checked out her channel yet, please do so. With this project, we made a detailed makeup inventory in Excel, randomized 10 items to work on, and it is rolling. So as we meet our goals or decide to declutter things, we roll in something else completely at random. So we have no idea what item we are going to be working on. And this has been a lot of fun, but also super challenging. Now, in the last few updates, I've tried to group like products together, but Today I'm just going to go in the order that I have them on this list. Um, some of them have been in this project since the very beginning of, and then the newer things, sorry stuttering, are going to be closer towards the end. And I'm just going to hop right in. Okay, starting off, a uh, shade got pulled from this Crown Brushes Glam Metals palette and it is the shade Black Metal here. The worst shade in the palette thank you so much and i've used this three times since the last update and a total of 32 times in this project it's a really not pigmented black shade i've been really struggling with it but there's quite a good dip happening i will also mention that at the six six month mark so next update we are going to do a refresh and i think this is one of the products that i'm going to boot out of the project um, i'm just really not enjoying trying to pan a black shadow let alone a black shadow that's not very good next i have the lip liner in heatherberry and i've used this another 14 times since the last update i'm making slow but steady progress on this one i forgot to make a new line on my paper but i've actually made more progress than i have the last few months the most progress i made was between the intro and the first update but I made some good progress again this time again might kick this out of the project because it is newer in my collection or like I got it in December and it's just I don't know we will see I have another month to think about these products next I got a shade from the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette so if I'm kind of flying through these I worked so hard on this shade this last month I used it six times and these were like six good times not just inner corner highlights or anything like that like I had been doing in the past this is all over the lid today I've used it all over the lid multiple times I also have it on as a highlighter today which is not my favorite but it gets the job done it's just a bit glittery for that and I still don't have pan and I'm getting so frustrated by this because I'm actually putting in the effort and trying so hard and it's just not happening for me. I've used this shade about 40 times in this project and still don't have pan on it. Next is an eyeshadow from the Tarte Tartlet Toasted Palette. It is the shade Cozy right here. I've only used this once since the last time. I have switched up like mid last month I switched up like how I was going about panning all of my products and really chose out specific things to really focus on um, because I was trying to evenly focus on everything and then making barely any progress on any of the items so I wanted to like really focus on eyeshadows like this pop one for example use it a lot really try and hit pan on it and then just every once in a while reach for my other items so only used it once basically no change in this same goes for this blink boxy charm electric eyes palette excuse the mascara on my hand uh the shade that i chose was autuni Aut i still don't know how to pronounce that it's this deeper gold shade the fourth one over and i've only used this one additional time Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, the shade Amaretto, whoops. 
I used this two more times. Next I have a highlighting shade out of this IBY Highlight and Contour Palette, shade number two. I'm sure that's pretty obvious by how beat up it looks compared to the other ones. I've used this 11 times since the last update, but no pan. I should also mention that pan is my goal for my pressed powder products. Naked Cosmetics Holographic Highlighting Palette. This is so hard to show on camera. But it is the second shade, which is, can you see, purple? Can you kind of see that it's purple there? Um, yes, it's a purple shade. I'm getting a bit of a dent happening in here, but not anything too significant. I used this three times in the last month. The product that I used the most over this past month is this e.l.f. Um, brow kit in medium and I used this 13 times. I've been focusing on both the waxy side as well as the powder side and I'm sure you can tell there's a huge dip in the like more waxy or gel, I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be, um, side. I hope you can kind of see it there but again you can see it in the close-ups in a minute. Um, and I'm trying to not like just burrow down. Uh, I'm not getting, I mean, I'm not getting right to the edges, but I'm really trying hard to not just like dig my brush into one spot because I want to, whoops, get good use out of this. Lastly is a product that I'm going to declutter. This is the Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain in the shade Five Parisian Passion. It's what I have on my lips today. I've worn this for four days. It's not how I remember it. I don't know if it's gone bad or just my preferences have changed. I mean, it smells fine. It is a lip stain. This is the only lip stain I have in my collection, I believe, and it's just not for me. I find it to be quite patchy. So you put it on and it's like a really thick, dark purple gloss. So it's really hard to get it even just like a gloss type of formula. And then it looks a little weird around my lip line, whether I have a lip liner or not underneath it. And it doesn't wear off evenly. And once it starts wearing off every little line it doesn't look so bad right now because I just put it on not that long ago, but through the day every little line and crevice in my lips is stained dark purple and the rest of my lip is just kind of a pinky purple type of stain. It's really, it's really not flattering and I'm kind of sad. I wanted to like work on these products really hard. I think this is the first product. Yeah, this is the first product in this project that I've truly decluttered. I'm not enjoying using it. I don't, I don't like it. And because it's a full-sized lip stain, like this is going to last lifetimes. So it's not even something that I can real realistically pan in a month or two, which if it were, I probably would have just suffered through it. But I just don't want to use it anymore. So. I'm going to declutter it. Revlon's not cruelty free anyways, so this is just one more non-cruelty free product in my collection. So let's choose a product to replace that. Update on my makeup inventory. I now have 1,002 products in my inventory. Last month I had 996 products. I am going to use the Pretty Random app and I'm going to put in the numbers 2 to 463 because we're not choosing another eyeshadow and 2 because there's a header on my spreadsheet. And let's see what we got. 260. Okay. I'm kind of nervous about this. So 260 is a shade out of my pretty dirty BH Cosmetics Nude Blush Palette. I hope this isn't like a really hard blush to pan. I feel like these are going to be pretty shallow. 
I don't know. I don't even know what shade it is. Number six. Okay. Oh, this is actually a really nice blush color for the summertime. It's probably the most vibrant in this whole palette, but you know what? I'm not mad at it. That was the stupidest place to swatch a blush ever, but I'm working on quite a few blushes in a lot of projects already, but my goal will be to hit pan on this. Okay, I was feeling a little nervous because it is random and I mean, there are definitely products that I would have chosen over this, but I'm excited. This is going to be good. I'd much rather work on a blush that I know I like the blushes here versus a lip stain that I know I'm never going to finish and I'm just going to suffer through for eternity. Um, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about this decision. I'm now going to segue into swatches, close-ups, comparison pictures, all that good stuff. We're going back to the way it was. Um, I tried a new way in the Mission 100 percent cruelty free intro and I just I don't prefer it that way I like the clean background so I hope you guys enjoy those close-ups and swatches and I'll meet you right back here in a couple of minutes Okay guys, now that the swatches are done, it is time to set some goals for the next update. As I mentioned, next update will be six months of working on this project and Sarah and I are going to do a refresh. So I really need to think on what products I would like to boot out of this project, keeping in mind that the product selection is random. So. I might kick something out that I don't mind panning, but maybe I'm bored of it and get something really terrible to pan in its place. So I do need to keep that in mind. 
thinking of that though, I'm still really wanting to focus on the stupid pop shade in the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I can't believe I haven't hit pan on this yet and I've been working so hard on it. It's getting really discouraging. So June is going to be the month. I am going to hit pan on this this month. Secondly, um, let me see, what do I have here? I don't know how deep these powders are. So I don't know if it's realistic to hit pan on this or maybe to hit pan in this e.l.f. eyebrow kit. Um, you guys scared me in the comments of the last update saying that you panned this e.l.f. eyebrow kit before and it was really hard to do. So both of these ones are maybes and this one is like I'm really pushing for pan in this product here. So that is everything for this update for the whole collection of Project Pan. I'm excited to have yet another new product to work on, but I'm super excited for next month and the refresh. I'm going to really spend some time with these products and decide which ones I just really do not want to pan for the rest of the year and which ones I think I can realistically work through in my collection. I think that's going to be really key for keeping this project fresh and fun. Don't forget to head over to Sarah's channel if you haven't already and watch her update. What do you think that I can realistically get out like through panning it um, by next update? And also what product do you think I should kick out? I don't know if me and Sarah are going to have a limit. I'm thinking of focusing solely on the products that have been in this project since the beginning, which there are six products. Six of these products have been in this project since the beginning. So I feel like, I don't know. I'm really conflicted. Let me know your opinions down in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.